Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore a surprising breakthrough that could change how you consume sugar forever. It doesn't come from farms or factories, but from living microbes. What scientists have engineered inside a lab may redefine sweetness, health, and the future of food. The search for a sugar alternative that matches taste without compromising health has spanned more than a century, from saccharin in the 19th century to plant-based sweeteners such as stevia and monk fruit today. A new study, however, suggests a different route forward. Researchers at Tufts University have engineered bacteria to produce tagatose, a rare, low-calorie sugar that closely mimics sucrose but carries fewer metabolic risks. The findings, which were published in Cell Reports Physical Science and reported by phys.org, point to a potentially scalable and more sustainable way of making a sweetener long constrained by cost and scarcity. Targatose is a naturally occurring sugar found only in trace amounts in foods such as dairy products and some fruits. According to phys.org, it makes up less than 0.2% of sugars in natural sources, which is the reason why it is typically manufactured rather than extracted. Chemically similar to common sugars, tagatose is around 92% as sweet as sucrose, but contains roughly one-third of the calories, according to the study. It also has a low glycemic impact, with clinical studies showing minimal increases in blood glucose and insulin levels after consumption. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration has designated tagatose as generally recognized as safe. Existing methods for producing tagatose rely largely on galactose derived from lactose, a process that is both inefficient and expensive. The Tufts team took a different approach by engineering Escherichia coli to convert glucose directly into tagatose. Central to this method is a newly identified enzyme, a galactose 1-phosphate-specific phosphatase discovered in slime mold, which allows the bacterial cells to reverse the Lelois metabolic pathway. We developed a way to produce tagatose by engineering the bacteria E. coli to work as tiny factories, said Nick Nyer, associate professor of chemical and biological engineering at Tufts, according to phys.org. In laboratory cultures, the engineered bacteria converted about 35% of supplied glucose into galactose and produced more than one gram per liter of tagatose, a proof of principle result described in Cell Reports Physical Science. The researchers note that further optimization is required, but the process eliminates dependence on lactose-derived feedstocks. Beyond metabolic benefits, tagatose also behaves like sugar in cooking, browning like table sugar, and may even inhibit cavity-causing bacteria. Thanks for tuning in to this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.